Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can deploy a device certificate to Windows 10 machine during autopilot which is a hybrid AD joint or our on-premise uh, domain joint machine. I have an internal CA which I will use to deploy the certificate. I will install an uh, Intune AD connector for certificates which will talk with my internal CA and from there it will deploy the certificates to the machine. First of all we will go to tenant administration from there we will go to connectors and tokens and then we will go to certificate connectors and download the connector and install it so I am installing it on my domain controller in production you can install it on any other server as well here we will select a PFX distribution and install it it is installed now we will launch the Intune connector. We will go to advanced tab and make sure that the first option is selected. Make sure you are logging into the account which has permissions on your Azure AD an Intune tenant that has an Intune license assigned as well. So now our Intune AD connector is successfully enrolled. We will close it and go back to the console and refresh it. Hopefully it should show up here. So now our certificate connector is showing up and it is active. Now we will see how to create the certificate template on our CA which we will use to deploy to clients during hybrid autopilot joins. So this is a certificate which I have already created using a template but I will show you the process here. So we will go to certificate templates managed right click workstation template create a duplicate template we will give a name to the certificate so i could say sccm temp test cert under request handling allow private key to be exported under subject name it should be supply in the request under security we will give the computer account of our intune ad certificate connector server read and enroll rights then we will go to our certificate templates and cert select certificate template to issue and select our sccm temp cert so here i have created a new one this is the one which i have will use which i already created under the certification authority we also need to give the server rights so my intune ad certificate connector server has issued man managed certificate and request certificate rights now the next step would be to create the policy in Intune to deploy the certificate. Here I am in my Intune portal where I already have these two policies created root certificate and SCCM cert device. So the root certificate is deploying the trusted root certificate for our certification authority and this SCCM cert device will install the device certificate on the machine. I will show you how to create that first of all we will export the root certificate from our domain join machine so in the local computer certificate store of that machine so this is the certificate i will right click and export it which i have already done to the desktop so i have that file there once the file is there on the desktop you you can go under create a profile select windows 10 and later select trusted certificate give a name next here you will select the certificate file which you exported next and then assign it to the Azure AD group for our hybrid autopilot domain joint machines and then next next once that is done so our trusted root certificate has been deployed which I already have done using this uh, profile the next one would be to create the policy for our device certificate so for that we will go to create profile windows 10 and later here we will select pkcs certificate give it a name so i already have it uh, so i will just show you a demo how to create it i have uh, filled the value so the renewal threshold i have specified as uh, 20 percent the certificate validity period is one year default here i have selected the first option this would be the name of our internal CA. This would be the name of our CA authority. So we will get this value from our certification authority if we log on here on our certification authority. So this is the value we need to provide. 
and this is the certificate which we want to deploy the certificate name is sccm client cert new here we will specify the certificate template name without any spaces certificate type would be device subject name format would be cn equal fully qualified domain name into curly braces here we will provide a dns name which would be fully qualified domain name in two curly braces and then we'll go next and assign it to our group for hybrid autopilot machines so this is how we will create it i have already created one so let me show you that so here is the one which i already have created so all the values are in place and deployed it to my windows 10 machine so let us uh, reset the windows 10 machine and see whether certificate gets deployed or not so the autopilot process has kicked in and i have put in my username and uh, password and we will see whether it goes through or not and gives us the certificate or not so the autopilot is running and uh, i will open the command prompt and open the certificate uh, manager on this computer for the local computer store so currently we only see one certificate here so hopefully we should get the certificate from our certificate template which was sccm client cert new so we'll wait for the autopilot process to run and uh, we'll refresh and check at what stage it comes in i'm going to pause the video for now so device preparation step is completed now the device setup is going on hopefully at this step we should see the certificate so if i go here i see two certificates so this is the one sccm client cert new which we deployed from intune and the other one was which i was getting from my internal domain group policy so let me put in my username and password so I have put in my username and password and it is going through the initial setup. So we'll wait few more minutes. So the device setup part is complete and now it's doing the account setup. And once that is done, we will go to the desktop and see our certificates. So the autopilot uh, process has been completed and we could see that we have the certificate from SCCM client cert uh, new template, which we deployed through Intune. And it has been created. And if I check the subject alternative name, it is giving me the FQDN of my computer. If we check on our Intune portal, they're also under the configuration profile device status. I could see that the certificate has been installed and it's showing a success here. I hope you like this video on how to enroll certificates during autopilot on hybrid on-prem domain joint machines. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.